Okay, so my name is Raihan and I'm a final year medical student and I also enjoy content creation. Now, this is the start of a two-part, maybe three-part series where I discuss, you know, the finances of university, how much a degree costs and how I managed to pay off my degree without acquiring any debt. And maybe the third part I'll talk about, was it worth it? Um, so I started medical school in 2014. My year zero was a foundation year, year one, to four was normal medicine, year five. I took a year out to study business and management at Imperial College. And my year six, technically year seven, is my final year, which I'm in right now. Now in total, that's seven years, of which four years would have been funded by myself, and two years, and three years funded by NHS. If you consider the cost of studying each year, it's £9,000 for your tuition fees and another seven, £7,500 for living costs and that gives us about £16,500 per year. Across four years, that's 66800 So that's how much I've had to pay. Now, the sad thing is, even though I would have only borrowed around £67,000, the amount I'd have to pay back is quite a lot more. You know, the interest is charged at 5.6, which takes into account the inflation rate, and it starts the day that you take the money or the money reaches your account. Now, let's take this number and figure out what I'd have to pay back if I had borrowed the money from student finance. So, my degree started in 2014, of which I paid four years myself. Now, if I set the likely starting salary of a junior doctor at 25,000 pound, or 25,500 in inflation at 3% with my salary growth rate at 7%, which shouldn't be too far off the truth, hopefully, then you can see that I wouldn't fall into the category, you know, the lucky few that can cancel out their student debt after the 30 year period. Sadly for me, over the 29 years, I would have paid back 245,000 pound, but I'd only borrowed 66,800. Now a few things to mention and some clarification because this might not be the case for everyone. I guess it could be higher or lower and it all depends on a few factors. When we look at the calculator, yes, I did set the inflation rate at 0.5 to 1% higher than, than the UK government target, which is around 2% or you know 2.5% which was recorded in 2018. But there was reasoning behind that, so I said that because with the current amount of quantitative easing that the government is doing and, you know, all the stimulus being pumped into the economy, I don't think the economists will take their foot off the pedal when it comes to stimulus fuel growth and as a result, I think we're going to experience quite a bit of inflation for the years to come or at least that's what history has told us. When we take into account inflation, the growth of real income, the cost of my degree is then reduced to £132,110 in 29 years time. But what does that actually mean? Because it doesn't sound as gruesome as, you know, the £245,000. And it's only double what I'd pay now for the degree, spread over the course of 29 years, which I guess you could argue the cost of education is worth that. If you're wondering how this is calculated, then take a look at the price of cinema tickets. So it's to do with inflation and the purchasing power of a currency, which is exactly what it says in the name. The power of today's currency in 30 years time or 30 years ago as an example. So with £10, you can just about pay for one cinema ticket today. And if cinemas were open, that is. However, 20 years ago, £10 would have got you two cinema tickets and that's due to many factors which I won't delve into but generally speaking it's based on economic growth, increased wages, increasing the cost of raw materials and probably the cost of filming these you know blockbuster movies has gone up as well. So if I were to take my £245,000 debt and pay it today yes it may sound like a lot however that's because my salary or wages aren't caught up with inflation in 29 years time it's a different story my wages probably would have caught up with inflation and as a result it would be as though i'm only paying double what i borrowed if that makes sense now that might also explain the whole point of including the retail price index inflation and the calculation of how much we actually need to pay back I hope that was a quick summary of how much a medical degree actually costs for people who are wondering. I guess we can talk about, um, you know, whether or not it was worth it, but 
If you have any thoughts, please leave a comment. If you think I'm stupid, please be nice and, and leave a comment and tell me that I made a mistake. Um, if you think it was a smart choice, then also let me know. Um, but yeah, the next video I'll talk about how I managed to pay for all of that. Um, this was just an introduction on the cost of a medical degree.